so, feel sorry for me. I had to buy an SF90 because I have three super fast, 812 super fast, and I have two 812 competitions, competition, however they say it, because it's my favorite car. Even though it's not perhaps the best car, it's my favorite car. The best car is 765 LT by McLaren. Nothing beats it. Around a track, I don't care what they say, I don't care what track time, I don't care what garbage they put on these YouTube drag races. Trust me, from the man who has 52 cars, nothing is faster than a 765 LT. Besides a Rimac or a Bugatti in a straight line. On a track, the 765 kills them. Trust me, it's that good, it's that fast. Off the line, it has no traction, so everything beats off the line. But in rolling races, it will smoke anything. I have 812s, which is my favorite car. It's not the best car, but it's my favorite car because I like the big V12. I like how they've built the car around the engine as opposed to make the engine to fit the car. I like that you can put stuff in the back and you can go on a road trip. I love how it sounds amazing. And it actually feels like a small little sports car. It feels like a mid-engine sports car, considering it's such a big car and it's so heavy. They've done amazing things with that. It's actually a miracle. So it's my favorite car. But everyone's saying, no, you should get an SF90 because it has a thousand horsepower. And I was like, it's hybrid, that's gay. I'm not gay, I'm straight. I kept saying, no, you need to try it. It'll be a 765. I said, that's impossible. And then I was bored, so I bought one. So here we are. I'll show you climate change. <laughs>